guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video you probably guessed from the title but i am going to be doing a amazon must-haves can we please ignore that curtain as well i'm getting new curtains today really nice white curtains from amazon um but they haven't arrived yet so yeah ju just just let's just stick with that also do we like my new background i moved around my bedroom just to give me some alternative background so we've got this i know it's it's nothing much not really fancy but um got this going on then my rail etc if you haven't seen my last video then go and check that one out because that's like a new background as well yeah so today's video i wanted to show you my amazon must have i've been doing a lot of shopping on amazon i must admit so i thought it was time to do this video and show you the stuff that i recommend let me know in the comments down below if you've seen something that you think that i might get good use out of all the links as always will be in the description box so yeah without further ado let's just get on into the video first few items i want to speak is i don't have them with me because they're currently actually scattered around the flat and in use anyway but the first one i want to talk about is just like they're like little bits and pieces miscellaneous stuff one thing i do recommend is getting essential oils and the humidifiers i think they're perfect for the winter time really good for you know like colds and flus etc i have the one that is lavender and one that is in eucalyptus so lavender is really good at relaxing yourself keeping you like less stressed and anxious and i I do actually suffer quite badly from time to time with anxiety depending on obviously my diet and what is going on in my life at that time so i find lavender really really good really good calming i like to use that in the bedroom i know essential oils isn't really good for pets like i think it's cats and dogs so we don't really have it on much now since we have had noodles which she's she's sort of right there on my bed so we don't pull it on much and if we do we keep it out of the room that we are putting it in etc you can get so many different scents as well like peppermint etc which is really really good for headache next two items that we have are these like packets of powder probably not really that interesting but i just got some organic ginger powder this is from a brand called yogi organics it's a powerful everyday spice but i actually use this in my smoothies so i do make a really good smoothie in the morning so i tend to use like banana mango strawberries i put a little bit of ginger in it and then i put this in it as well which is the organic super greens powder there's a blend of nine superfoods i highly recommend going for things that are actually organic because you don't have a lot of you know preservatives and stuff like that in there you have organic flaxseed powder organic bam bam powder <laughs> don't really know organic mac powder organic wheatgrass powder this is all organic so i'm gonna stop saying organic barley grass corella powder alkai berry powder matcha powder and gorana powder i've definitely butchered them they're really really good all you need is like a teaspoon in your smoothies i think you can do it once or twice a day ginger is so good for you for detoxing and is good for like colds and flus etc preventing all of that stuff from happening detoxing your body this one is 500 grams and this one here is 200 grams but you don't even need a lot you literally need like a sprinkle of this because ginger is so overpowering and a teaspoon of this so they're gonna last for ages next thing we have is a shower head i'll pop a clip because obviously it is connected already but i've gotten this shower head it has like loads of beads in the head of the shower head <laughs> if that makes any sense which just basically helps to filter out all the nasty stuff in your water sometimes it can be very damaging to the hair cause split ends cause dry skin etc and there's a lot of nasties that do linger in the water they just have little beads and it's really good because it has three settings in it one that's kind of like a shooting mode one that's like a little sprinkle mode and one that has the shooting and a sprinkle mode together it's just really nice it makes my shower a lot more stronger because the flat that i live in we have a lot of hard water and hard water is just really not good for the skin and hair it's really good to filter that sort of stuff out with the shower head so i definitely recommend going and getting one of those if you haven't already there's a wide variety on amazon anyway and you can also buy the beads once the filtering's stops because they last between six to nine months so then once the filter is gone all you need to do you don't need to replace the shower head just get the beads the bead packs and you're good to go again next one we have is these like humidity level thingies i need them because the flat that i have don't have these air pockets we had a case of mold here it was awful and the person actually literally explained saying you don't have any air pockets in the building so even if it's in the winter your flat will naturally get hot if you run the shower it's just not going to be good you're going to get mold etc etc so i got these percentage humidity it's a pack of four at the moment it's 45 which is really good the lowest i've ever gotten it to is 32 so 
So I think the ideal thing for your flat or house needs to be between 30 and 60% or 30 and 50%. I just plant loads all over it in different rooms. So my bedroom, Lila's bedroom and the living room, we plant them in there. There is no point having them in the bathroom because naturally it's just going to be really bad. We always have the window open in the bathroom. We don't have one of those extractors. Don't ask me why, but yeah, that's an issue that I don't really want to talk about. But another thing that we do have is waterproof fitted bed sheets. And you're probably wondering, why do I need them? They are really, really handy to have because I do have a little one. She is three years old and we are at that stage where we're now like training her at night time, if you know what I mean. She's completely potty trained. She goes whenever, but at night time, obviously you need to teach them how to hold. It's like a Terry terry cloth i can't really explain it it's like it's like towel material at the top but it's completely waterproof if you wet the bed if you spill drink tea whatever it is it just sits on top and it doesn't seep all the way through so it's not going to go all over your mattress they are literally perfect to save your bed sheets really affordable as well i think they were like hello <laughs> really affordable as well because they both cost me about eight nine pound each right next section we're going on to is makeup and skin products i use amazon a lot to get these sorts of things especially if i'm running low on makeup instead of just buying off boots super drug etc i like to go off amazon because i have next day prime anyway also as well a good tip that i tend to do is mascaras mascaras are so expensive especially if you're buying from boots super drug and i find amazon do stuff at a more of an affordable price so for example if you've got mascara that's like 12 pounds sometimes they have it for like seven pounds so i do love to go on amazon and i do like to compare prices so i'm gonna go into some of the stuff some gems that i have found because amazon is my must place to get these sorts of things especially if i'm in a rush to get stuff first two pieces are hairspray so i've got the got to be happy hour 24 hour hold hairspray that i found on amazon very affordable i think it's only cost me like a couple of pounds i'm not gonna lie to you it's not the best hairspray out there however if you just want a quick fix that you know is gonna hold your hair in place hold the curls then i definitely do recommend this and the next one i have is the bedhead tg masterpiece massive shine strong hold hairspray this again really affordable but tg isn't an affordable brand so on amazon i think this might have cost me about six pounds or something i recommend these this smells so nice spray on it is so good as well like it's really don't know if you can see that really it's not too strong holds the hair in place this one however is a little bit sticky and i know not a lot of people like sticky hairspray whoop Good catch there, good reflexes. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't really like sticky hairsprays, but I find this holds a curl more than this. I find it very difficult to find hairspray that isn't sticky, to be honest. Definitely recommend these if you do want more of an affordable one. There are more expensive and more better hairsprays out there, but you've definitely got to pay the price. If you are looking for something that's affordable that does the job, then I definitely recommend these on Amazon. So affordable, so cheap, so. Love them. A few skincare products that I like to get is I got this organic aloe vera gel. I've been really moving into like a lot of organics as you probably could tell from the powders I showed you earlier. I just I'm looking for a lot of clean products. Apparently this is Australia's number one top rated aloe vera gel. If you don't know what aloe vera gel is it has so many good benefits. Really good for inflammation, really good for reactions. So for example if you use a product on your skin, your skin hasn't agreed with it, it's become inflamed aloe vera is really really good if you like derma planning which is like shaving your face aloe vera put this on before you shave your face game changer amazing it keeps it really smooth helps you like shave your face without problem really good if you get sunburn as well aloe vera is really good as well it comes in like this this is the package i actually think it's really really cute so that's what it looks like it comes from a band called like eclat i don't know if you can see it on this label here that's how you pronounce it yeah no i definitely recommend this it looks like this though which has really annoyed me because they put this horrible like sticker saying one year warranty on it so it ruined the packaging but like this is literally what it looks like i love it and then a lot comes out and this is how it looks like how you would expect aloe vera it is a little bit sticky on the skin once you like apply it and stuff but you have to let it dry but that is aloe vera for you it does get a bit sticky and stuff but it feels so nice on the skin it's just so soothing soft really helped me with the texture on my skin oh i've just put it on a scratch that my cat gave me and oh it's burning it's burning it hurt next item we have is the walida Waleda, Waleda, I can never say that brand. Um, skin food, highly raves about skin moisturizer. I did get the light one though, instead of like the strong one, because this is a high potent, really strong, heavy face cream. So if you suffer from severe dry skin, I do 
recommend this highly recommend this even the skin food light is quite a heavy duty cream i do recommend these for somebody who does have quite drier skin i think it does an amazing job at really just hydrating your skin making it feel super super smooth you don't need a lot of this so although it's 75 milliliters literally it's so thick so creamy you just don't need a lot on you don't have to use this just for your face it is for your body as well so i actually use this on a drier bit I use it on my hand, I use it on my elbows, I use it on my feet, because my feet, you don't even want to talk about them. Let's just not get into that, but they get dry. So yeah, I use this, but like I said, it is a very heavy duty cream. And this is the light version. This isn't the original. Can you imagine how thick the original is? This is the cream here. As you can see, it is just super thick. You need to really rub it in. But what I really like about it is, this gives a really nice glow. It's such a good base to do before your makeup as well. So, like I said, really recommend it. It does have a scent. I don't know if many people are going to like this scent. It does have organic ingredients in it as well. But yeah, definitely, definitely recommend this. I got this quite an affordable price on Amazon for like four or five pounds. But I know the original retail price, it can go up to like 14. So, um, definitely look on Amazon because yeah this is a weird item for me to recommend and um i don't know if many of you people are going to be into it but for me i have been looking for more natural ways to do things um and by that just using a lot of natural ingredients with stuff that i'm doing and a lot of mouthwashes don't have natural ingredients in them so i saw this thing called oil pulling mouthwash i don't know if any of you guys have ever heard that technique but it's from this brand here. It's in a really nice like tinned container. Activated charcoal oil pulling mouthwash. So it's cleansing and plaque reducing blend of organic virgin coconut oil. So literally what you do is you just get a teaspoon. And I know a lot of people aren't going to like this because the texture isn't very nice. But you just get a teaspoon, put it in your mouth and you swish it in your mouth between 5 to 20 minutes. You can do 5, you can do 15, 10, 20. Literally however long you want to do it but it has to be minimum 5 minutes. And then you spit it out into a tissue paper or a Cloth. don't do it down your toilet don't do it down your sink because you will clog it and then throw the tissue in the bin and what you do is then you brush your teeth afterwards and what it does is it pulls out all this gunk the plaque and everything in your teeth when you brush it it's just really good and i got it activated charcoal because i do suffer from yellowing of the teeth because i love my tea so my teeth from time to time go a bit more yellow and i'm like oh so i'm trying to get things to make them whiten i think it's an old technique like back in the day it is really effective it leaves your mouth feeling so so clean we have some face razors i got these these are the wilkinson's pack free um the other one where is the other one i think the other one's actually in my drawer where is it yeah here it is <laughs> pack of three here these little razors i already bought face razors before but these ones are on the next level they're a little bit more expensive they're like four pounds for only a pack of three so you don't get a lot the ones that i bought before was like three pounds for a pack of six but definitely the cost of this is reflected in the quality of this it's a really thick plastic so it's not going to bend it's not going to snap it's not going to break and they're all covered with this really good i don't even know if you can see this plastic thing because they are very sharp. These are the sharpest face razors I have felt. Really good for shaving your face. I actually do this for my unibrow, my moustache, and just around my eyebrows. It does come with a little cap that only shows this, the, like, the top bit of the blade, and then hides the rest of the blade, so that you can have a more precise way of shaving around your eyebrows. I've lost that, though. Very easy to lose, because it is quite a small plastic, but it's really good plastic. It is also a myth that your hair grows back thicker because i've been doing this for years i've been doing my mustache my eyebrows for years since i was like 14 and they have not once grown back thicker so definitely a myth and i do definitely definitely recommend these next items that we have got in the makeup kind of category is mascaras and this one is the eyebrow gel so i'm going to stick with the eyebrow gel first so this is the got to be glued for brows and edges gel and i know a lot of people are into brow laminations or gluing up their eyebrows I don't hear a lot of people talk about got to be and I know a lot of people have been new in their glued like tub thing to do their eyebrows and got to be was like I know people use it for my brows so let's actually just pull it in an actual container that is easier for people to use so obviously this is a little bit smaller than the actual tube I've never tried the tube I've only just tried this I've only recently just got into like gluing my brows so at the moment this is what they look like hopefully 
they look decent enough i'm sorry but my face is so orange in the camera but yeah this is literally what they look like and i'm obsessed with them i think this works so so well i haven't had any issues with this and my eyebrows always turn out quite all right to be honest with you and then mascaras like i did say earlier if you are looking for getting new mascaras etc or you are looking to replace the mascara that you've used don't go to boots and super drug look on amazon first see if you can get a better discount and best believe you will so this is the maybelline less sensational sky high this is like everybody's favorite at the moment and even the l'oreal telescopic they are quite expensive mascaras like drugstore mascaras are expensive and i think this range is between like 11 pounds maybe but on amazon i got it for i think it was seven seven to nine pounds sky high everybody's favorite mascara anyway if you haven't tried it then just go and try it because it's amazing and then i've got the l'oreal telescopic i've got it in this gold version because i think the black one is jet black and that is always sold out but it's still black it's just not the jet black version and it's just got this small little skinny brush i haven't used this for a while actually but it's definitely one of my favorite mascaras another item that is based on natural ingredients is the mitchum natural powder bamboo powder rolling deodorant if you guys have not tried this you need to go and try this so this isn't 100 natural it's only 96 percent natural but it has zero aluminium in it or aluminum if you're american no aluminium in it and if you don't actually know aluminium is actually really really bad for you aluminium is actually used in deodorants and roll-ons for an antiperspirant but it is not good for you you should not be having that in your body heavy metals is just not something that you should have in your bodies at the moment i'm going for this so this is zero aluminium you can have so many different scents so i got this in coconut and this smells beautiful I'm not a coconut kind of person. I don't love the coconut scent. But this one smells a bit like vanilla -y as well. But this is what it looks like. So this is kind of like what a natural roll-on looks like. It's quite powdery. I don't know if you can see. But it doesn't give off like any cast or anything Rollins are quite wet but this one because it is a powder it is a lot more drier i'm gonna also say this as well when you switch from what you're using with aluminium in it to natural you will end up smelling for the first week your body detoxes itself from the heavy metals that you have been putting in your underarms it's a known fact that's going to be the case next item i don't actually have with me because i've completely finished it and it's in the bin right now it's a himalayan salt scrub again back onto the natural thing it is 100 natural organic and it's literally just a sort of scrub that you scrub all over your body it helped you get rid of all of that dry layer of skin i suffer from this thing called i can't actually remember what it's called but in informal terms it's chicken skin <laughs> which is like these horrible bumpy skins on your arms i've had it since i hit puberty when i was younger and i've always had it so i have to constantly exfoliate my skin but it's just such a good way to exfoliate your skin it's a lot of the thinner salt and it smells amazing actually as well i think it is mixed with some natural oils natural essential oils it's a really nice way just to, i think treat yourself i did it like once or twice a week left my skin feeling amazing got rid of a lot of the bumps under my skin and like i said it is natural and our skin is the biggest organ in our body so i need natural stuff the next one i do have is a decor decor however you want to say it unfortunately i'm just going to have to do some snippets because they are currently like everywhere but a lot of them are included in my daughter's bedroom because we've recently just in up her room but there are some amazing stuff that we had found so the first thing is this led light and it is absolutely amazing it's like a little lamp and i use it as a night light for her you can anybody can use it you don't have to be of a young age but for her because she's sleeping in her own room and if she needs to go to the toilet etc or she wakes up in the middle of the night a bit scared i feel like these night lights are really really helpful for her so basically all you need to do is just press it the once for a dimmer light setting press it twice for a more brighter press it three times you get even a brighter white light press it again you have this like weird strobing effect that it just flashes and then the next time you tap it you you have an option of different colors just perfect for that little bit of light in a bedroom i just think it sets the scene a lot nicely and i love it as well for a grown-up just going in her room sitting with her in bed 
I just think it gives off a nice calming effect, you know. We bought some pink curtains that go into my room and they're absolutely beautiful. They're only mesh curtains, which I don't mind in this season because it gets dark really early. Obviously when the summer comes and it's a lot brighter outside later, then I will be getting some thicker curtains. But for the time being, for this aesthetic as well, I think it's just so nice. It's this really nice mesh polka dotty pink curtains. Absolutely beautiful, really aesthetic and I just love it. I've got some actually coming here, completely different though. Really nice white mesh curtains i think it just makes everything look more cleaner i just love mesh curtains because you can just have mesh curtains and then put on a thicker curtain on the outside so you have the best of both worlds which i think i'm probably going to do as it starts getting brighter earlier and brighter for longer outside they're so nice so affordable as well next one that we have is this shoe rail that i have put on the back of her door obviously her room is white and pink that's the theme so there's a lot of pink in there but you can get other colors as well so you can get the shoe rail which is either black Black, white gray etc but obviously i went for the pink i think this is really good for if you have a small space so like i said her room is absolutely tiny so storage is key and i think just having a little rail over the door with all of her shoes in there is just good like she's young as well so she has dinky feet so i am able to fit pairs in one little pocket properly rather than doing separate pockets which if you are older than you would have to do storage very easily accessible for her and for me and yeah i just think it's something that's really good if you do have a small space in the room and you kind of need storage for everything especially if you've got kids next few items that we have is actually this clothing rail that's right there but i can't really show you i'll do a little snippet but that's from amazon really affordable i think it cost me about 30 pounds and clothing rails can be super expensive i got a quite a long one which i kind of wish i never did i kind of wish i got a smaller one because my room also is tiny but i think it's perfect so if you are somebody who likes that aesthetic of having your clothes out on show i know some people actually just put stuff for show and they don't actually wear those sorts of clothes i use it for my youtube videos because i do a lot of fashion hauls clothing hauls etc so they are perfect for me to show you guys what sort of stuff i'm showing you but they are amazing i love them so so much they hold so much on mine has like rails at the bottom where you can put shoes on you can put boxes on as well you can just get the clothing rails that don't have the bottom bit but this one here specifically i love very easy to put together 30 pounds which depending on what your budget is you might think that's expensive you might not think that's expensive but for me i think it's just so handy and i love it so so much you can hold anything on anyway that's it for the video i hope you like this video I literally feel like i've been talking forever because it was just so much do you know the list still goes on and on in my phone but i felt like i've been talking for so long this video is going to be 110 minutes long i felt like i just needed to stop now because I'm going to bore you lot. I'm boring myself. But anyway, if you did like this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up and smash that bell so you're notified. As always, all the links are in the description box. If you did want to go and shop them for yourself, go and do that. If they're not in stock, I will link some similar products as well. And I would also link the products that I haven't mentioned in the video that I still think I must have. I'll still pop them down there because why not? The more the merrier, yeah? But yeah, anyway, I hope you stick around and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.